What is going on guys, this is your boy from the new side, the Bengal Dragon, back to back recording sessions here. So, make sure to hit that like, subscribe and bell notification buttons and make sure to leave a comment comment section below. This is it. The last Star Wars movie that I have seen. Okay, out of the nine in the three trilogies, the only one I did not see is The Last Jedi. I did not see Solo. I, I'm going to see Rogue One once uh, this ends. Uh, once, uh, no, once I get uh, Disney Plus. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's, it's kind of late at night here. So, okay. The Force Awakens. This happens a few years. In, in fact, let me tell you something. Revenge of the Sith is the movie that made me a somewhat of a Star Wars fan. The movie was that good. Because although the original trilogy, I watched it, I did not consider myself a Star Wars fan. By the time I watched Revenge of the Sith, I'm like, okay, you know what? This IP or this uh, universe, Star Wars universe, is actually something quite interesting. Okay. Now. The Force Awakens. <sighs> Sorry. Daisy Ripley cannot act. She is a lighter version. Of Brie Larson. She's not as bad as Brie Larson. But. She is bland. So many things did not make sense in this movie. Okay. First of all, how did that ship land? How did the Millennium Millennium Falcon land in Jakku? Okay. No, before that. How does Kylo Ren? How does Kylo... How did... No, no. Not how. Why does Kylo Ren wear a mask when he is trying to emulate Darth Vader? Darth Vader... Did not wear a mask out of fashion. He wore a mask because he needed to. And if he's trying to emulate Darth Vader so much. How come Kylo Ren's mask looks like something out of Final Fantasy XII? Okay. More questions in the movie. Okay. Ray. uh... Random girl, okay? She's a scavenger on a desert planet. How does she know how to fly the Millennium Falcon? And how does she know the difference between a good ship and garbage? How does she know the mechanics of how a garbage ship that she calls Millennium Falcon can circumvent all its uh, problems and go into like hype, you know, like you know, hyper, you know, work the hyperdrive, you know, the light speed hyperdrive and everything. How does she know this? Okay, Kylo Ren, who has been shown to be being able to bring people. To his hand stretched out like this, like Magneto attracting something made of metal. How does Ray reverse engineer reading minds? How does Ray read Kylo Ren's mind? I'm like, this is something out of X Men Apocalypse. Only thing. Apocalypse in X-Men Apocalypse, Oscar Isaacs, he did almost everything possible within the limitations of the script to make his acting and his character cool. Sorry, Force Awakens, it's, it, look, it was so bad that at one point, 
I started laughing. I started same thing, same thing. I started doing doing in the in the rise of Skywalker. The same thing. That at one point it was so bad. I started laughing. I started laughing at the stupidity because I went in expecting a good movie, a serious movie. It turned out to be a comedy. Okay, how does Ray Skywalker? Know how to reverse read mind of Kylo Ren. Okay. How does Rey Skywalker without any training have the ability of convincing a stormtrooper on what to do? Like I will loosen my, I will loosen these bonds and I will walk outside and I will drop the gun on the floor. Okay. Good lord. Okay. So that's Daisy Ripley. And Daisy Ripley is vanilla actor. Uh, actress. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is just me, but maybe I didn't notice this in the other movies. Is it just me or has the bad guy lightsaber always been red? And the good guy lightsaber always been blue? Is this like a Democrat versus Republican? A Democrat lightsaber versus a Republican lightsaber? What is this? Okay. See, when a movie is this bad, you start picking these things out. Okay? John Boyega. <coughs> a movie... That has Daisy Rip, that Ray Skywalker in it, and she is not the worst actress. Do you see how bad this movie is? The worst, no, no, uh, she, no, she, she is not the worst performer. Like she, she, she is perhaps the worst actress because she's a female. But like you know, in terms of overall, overall actors plus actresses. John Boyega were acts worse than Ray Skywalker. So I'm saying Ray Skywalker or Dave Ripley amongst the female actresses, amongst all the female actresses, Carrie Fisher and whatnot, she is the worst female actress in that movie. But amongst actors and actresses, John Boyega is the worst actor in this movie. First of all, have you noticed there's always a tendency whenever John Boyega is in a ship and he gets excited about something, they fall into trouble. Okay, John Boyega, like you know, his character, like or like you know, Poe pulls off a maneuver in the Tie Fighter, and John Boyega, like, yay, we did it, yay, boom, Tie Fighter in problem. When there's a Millennium Falcon. Wow, you know how to drive this. You know how to fly the you fly this garbage. Wow, you should be so cool. Boom, ghastly. John Boyega, a uh, Finn, is trying to fix the ghastly. Okay. Hey, Ray, do you have a boyfriend? Ray, look, that's none of your business. Boom. Lights go out. And it gets sucked into something. How does this happen? Then there's another scene. When John Boyega has his Republican, no, no, his Democrat lightsaber, okay, and then a stormtrooper comes in and has a Republican lightsaber. How does it, why does a stormtrooper have a lightsaber? I don't get it. A Stormtrooper. Imagine how easily all the battles would have been won. Imagine how strong this order would be, the First Order or the Nth Order. How strong it would be if instead of, no, if they had blasters plus lightsabers. Just imagine. Okay. And then Finn comes up with the idea of blowing up the Death Star. And what was his occupation? 
what was the only black actor's occupation? The only main black actor's occupation in The Force Awakens? He was in san sanitization. He was the dark side's latrine cleaner. How does the latrine cleaner know how to blow up a Death Star? Nobody's going to point this out. The only good thing about this movie was the ending where Rey finally finds Luke Skywalker and not a word was exchanged. Rey conveyed to Luke what she wanted to say and Luke understood and we all understood. But apart from that, this was as bad this, the only thing saving it was the ending. But apart from that, this was as bad as Rise of Skywalker. And I'm sorry, now I hate Rise of Skywalker even more. Even more since I've seen the seven movies. And apparently The Last Jedi is worse than The Force Awakens. Wow. That is a movie maybe I should not watch at all. If I want to save my brain. This movie. 1 out of 10. Maybe some of you think The Force Awakens is a good movie. I don't know what dimension you're in. Okay. The latrine cleaner was able to hold his own against Kylo Ren. How? A girl with no training was supposed was able to hold his own against Kylo Ren, the supposed protege of Darth Vader. How? And in the end, once and the entire world is blowing up, Snoke Snoke said, "Okay, it's time for one more lesson. You know, remind him that he had a class to attend. Remind, like you know, like it, it's like a, like you know your your five thirty class in the middle. Oh yeah, the world is uh, blowing up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, that's not my concern." One out of ten. Apart from that ending, this is as bad as Rise of Skywalker. Let me know what you thought about The Force Awakens in the comment section below. It's your boy Thunder Side the Bengal Dragon signing out.